how much did my first Iron Man cost me? I'm gonna go through everything. Break it down item by item across all three areas. So I'm gonna start with swimming, then I'm gonna go into cycling, and then I'm gonna go into running and give you an overarching cost of what I spent in one year on my first Iron Man. I want this channel to be like really transparent, so I'll always share how much things cost me, where I got them from. I'll do another video later about things that I thought were a waste of money. But let's get going. So I'm gonna start with swim. All the details here on my laptop in front of me. So in no particular order, let's just go through it. Goggles, um, I bought my first set of goggles and they cost me 20 pounds and they got them from Speedo. Bought a cap from Speedo. That cost me another six pounds. I bought some shorts from Sports Direct. I think they were normal Nike or swimming shorts. They were 24 pounds. A pool boy, which goes between your legs. I bought that at my local pool and that cost me 22 pounds. I also had, as things progressed, I went in and got a film lesson. So it's basically someone who, you went to someone's house, they filmed you in their endless pool, you got all the data and analytics. For one hour, that cost me 115 pounds. Bought some more goggles over the year at my local swimming pool, that was 15 pounds. A cap at my um, local pool where I've been going, and that was 10 pounds. And then we move into things like wetsuits. So I bought a wetsuit from a company from Try UK, yeah. I paid £50, it was a long story, it's a brand new wetsuit, it's a £500 wetsuit, but I got it for £50. Uh, just right place, right time. Another story for another day. Goggles I got from Try UK, they were £30. Got a like a Zone 3 safety buoy, so that when you're swimming in open water, it tows behind you. That was £30, or £33, sorry. I got a Finnis Pro, so it goes up in your hat and it measures your it's like a tempo trainer it beeps at you to see you know stroke rate and what have you i got that from wiggle and that was 50 pounds i then got some finis uh floating fins so the what you put on your feet they were 25 pounds from wiggle got some finis hand paddles for your technique the yellow ones that have been in the previous video they were Ooh, 23 pounds. I had a snorkel as well, a finished snorkel from Wiggle again, that was 24 pounds. Before my Iron Man, I thought I'm gonna get some proper goggles. I spoke to my friends, cause I'm in open water. I went on to Rocker and got some um, open water swimming goggles, um, mirrorless, they were 37 pounds. On the day, I bought things like Vaseline. So I bought two huge tubs of Vaseline I know they're, you might not think, but I'm going to include them in this because it's all part of the day. So that's total. I got them from Amazon for £8. And I had a membership at a outdoor quarry near me called Bobster. Incredible facilities, really good. It's an annual membership. It cost me £50 and that allowed me to train in open water. I also had a swimming pool membership at my local pool and that was £300. That brings my total spend on swimming um, for my Ironman for last year is £892. Cycling's next. There's a lot of items in here, but I've listed them all. I'm going to be transparent and share all of them. In no particular order, the first thing I bought was a bike. I bought my bike off eBay for £540. It was a giant DeFi Advanced, um, through full carbon, brilliant bike. Then I bought a helmet. Um, a Rapido helmet from Wiggle. That was £48, a must, a must have. And because I was training in the winter when I got my bike, I needed some lights. So I bought a front light, a Cat Eye 135 from Wiggle. That was £25. I bought a rear Cat Eye light from Wiggle, uh, a Viz 100. That was £23. I needed a pump because I didn't have any kit. So a mini pump from Top a toe pack micro rocket from Wiggle, which was 22 pounds. Multi-tool to fix my bike. That was a toe pack mini 20 pro. That was also from Wiggle for 23 pounds. I had a seat bag from Trek, which was 14 pounds. Some bottle cages, they were called, they are brand Richie. They were full carbon, they were secondhand. 
I got those from eBay for £38. Body Glide was up next and I got that from Wiggle for £15 so I didn't get any chafing when I was on my bike. Really worth it. I then needed some water bottles to put in my um, carbon cages. So I went on to eBay and I found two generic water sports bottles for £12. I then went on to buy some shoes um, so I need some bike fitting shoes, clip-in ones. So I researched online and found some Boardman, Bourbon Carbon 45. I got this from Halfords and they were £85. I got a core jersey from Rafa to wear. That was £55. I got some shoe clips from Halfords so that, um, that go on the bottom of your shoes. They were £15. I got some bib shorts from Rafa, they were £77. In the winter it gets cold so I got some thermal arm warmers from Wiggle for £9. I got some thermal leg warmers, they were brand DNB, they were also from Wiggle and they were £12. I had some DNB merino sleeveless base layer, I got that from Wiggle, that's to keep you warm. That was £12, no £19 sorry. I got some glasses um, they were they were brand Stealth and they were from a company called Freewheel. They were £35. Castelli Gillet from Wiggle for £26. And then as things moved on, I was tracking everything on my Garmin watch. I decided to get a little computer. So I went on to eBay and found a Garmin 130 Plus bike computer for £80. Went on and got some gloves. So the Hestra wins windstopper tracker gloves they were from amazon they were 50 pounds brilliant gloves can't recommend them enough some more lights i bought a halfords advance 500 lumen front light because my other light wasn't really good enough in the bad weather so that was 30 pounds i bought a helmet light which is a top side helmet light from halfords that was 30 pounds then went and bought some boardman unisex overshoes how, from Halfords, they were £20. I bought some Castelli socks, a total of four pairs, and in total it cost me £55. I then got a Topak Tri bag, which was one, it's a bag that sits um, on your, your sort of top bar that you can put snacks in. I got that from Tri UK, and that cost me £17. In the winter, I needed to do some indoor training when weather got really bad, so I bought a Tax. Flow Smart Trainer, I got that second hand off eBay and that cost me £91. As things progressed, I happened to be in a place unintentionally and a bike was for sale that was worth six, seven thousand. I paid two and a half thousand for it. Um, so that was a Ridley um, Phoenix 6X and yeah, so I bought bought that. Long story, but it didn't actually, it cost me two and a half thousand, but the total cost was 200. A story for another time. But for the sake of this video, I did pay on the day two and a half thousand pounds. I then wanted to upgrade the wheels because it was getting closer to my event. So I went on to eBay and found some prime carbon wheels. Um, they cost me a total of 450 pounds. I needed to buy some carbon pedals for the bike. So I went on to eBay again and found some secondhand um, Utegra carbon pedals, they were £60. Before my Ironman, I had a bike fit at my local shop. Um, so it was a full bike fit, the lasers, everything. That cost me a total of £150. Over the year, um, my bike needed maintenance and just checking. So that took me, that was another local bike shop and that was a total of £40. And I had one more bike fit just before my Ironman and that cost me £60. The total amount that I spent on my bike encompassing was £4,225. Moving on to the running part, started off and I bought general day-to-day -day running shoes. So they were Hover Sonic 4s. Unbelievable shoe. I'm going to do a video on them separate. I got those from eBay and they cost me £70. I bought a Nike um, running top from Nike, £28. Another running tank top from Nike, that was £25. I bought some Nike uh, lined running shorts, they were £40. Another pair of Under Armour Hover 
Um, the, these were Machina 3 shoes. I got these from Wiggle. That was £70. I went through another pair again, but I got them from Running Point. And they were £101. And for the race itself, I bought a brand new pair of Nike Alpha Flies Next Percents. Never had them before. I got them from Sport Shoes and they set me back a total of £270. It's also important to add that I've included this in running. I bought a Garmin 6X Pro secondhand off eBay. Um, this was probably two years ago or a year and a half ago for £330. But because you sort of need one to do this event and to train, I've included it in the total costs. I also included um, supplements in here. So I bought a load of SIS gels and tablets that were on sale in Lidl one day. They are absolutely disgusting. That cost me £150. So that brings my sort of total cost for running to £1,088. Next category we have is additional costs. Other costs but should be included but hard to quantify. So the event itself, Ironman, um, the ticket price I paid was £627. I don't think that included insurance because it was, I thought it was closer to £800. But I put here £627. We had the accommodation on the sort of day of the Ironman itself. So I travelled with my friend Max. Um, I paid for a room for both of us of two beds. Um, really not a very nice hotel but perfect location. That cost me £242 for one night. There was food on the day like pizza from when we arrived you know, that we bought. So that was around about £100 for a, a day's food. Fuel to get there was another £100 give or take. And then you had things which were which should be included in these costs, such as a gym membership. I think the gym was an important part of how I trained for my Ironman, and therefore I've included that cost in this. So a gym membership cost me a total of my local gym. It's £300 a year. It's about £25 a month. Then there was fuel to get to the gym and the pool, and I averaged that out at £20 a week. So that gives me um, a total cost of £1,040. If you add that all together the total cost for additional category is £2,409. In total then, um, across all the sports and everything that I've spent this year, specifically looking at Ironman, not including other things for the other running events, I've spent £8,614. And that is a lot of money, I'm not going to lie, and I've feel lucky that I could, could do it but most of the things I bought as you as you saw were all second hand and I'd like to think that I can get a majority of the my money back on a lot of the items that I've still got and I'm I've loved it so I'm going to get into it properly so it's it was sort of money worth spending I suppose but I wanted to be transparent and that's the actual cost for me competing in Ironman Wales 2023. I'm certain that you could probably do it on far less and not spend as much. But on the flip side, it's a difficult one. But that's that's what I spent. Thank you all for watching. And I appreciate it was a bit of a boring video. But I hope it helps some people who are looking to understand actually what, what do people spend when they enter an Ironman in a transparent way rather than pretending you don't spend a lot if you add up all the costs. Thank you.